Hey guys and welcome to Everspace 2, a space looter shooter flight sim RPG that just hit early access. Everspace 2 is the successor to Everspace 1 which released on Steam in 2017. I played it myself back then, I had a lot of fun with it, so I had to go and check out Everspace 2. I want to thank the developers very much for providing me with the key. Let's go and check it out. Before we're gonna start a new game, just to let you know, this is not gonna be a playthrough. I might be skipping a lot of the story ahead so we can get to the meat of the game and show you as much as possible in this episode. Of course, if you wanna experience the game for yourself and the story as it is so far, there will be a link in a comment pinned below the video. Approaching extraction area. All miners stay in formation. Wingman, you take up the rear. Understood. All right, it seems our name is Adam. And we're getting thrown right into the controls, which is pretty cool. And we're on our way to this mining asteroid, or to this mining facility in this asteroid. Okay, we're learning how to roll our ship. And we're learning how our booster works. Nice. All right, we got to the asteroid, and we're going to have to clear our way into it. And basically, the game teaching us how the shooting works. That is pretty sweet. I love it. Yeah, we're in the middle of the asteroid now and the graphics look really, really nice. And the game is trying to get us now to search containers and learn how to loot them. Sweet. We're going to get to use our missiles now. Sweet. Whoa. All right. So when you interact with things, you actually still do that from your ship. So you, basically, it's just like if your ship was a normal character anywhere else. We're hacking a terminal just from our ship now. Look inside. Please be careful. That is pretty awesome. Oh, wow. Okay, seems we found something over here. Finally, my rescue squad. Uh, I have no idea who you are. Oh, this doesn't look good. Oh, wow. This will take care of you. There we go. Nice. I'm sorry, pal, but there are no rescue squads out here. Oh, we got some loot as well. Okay, the game is not teaching us how to lock on to targets, so we're just going to hit the middle mouse button. And then we can shoot a rocket and it goes right for the locked on target. Very nice. Also, our main weapon, we can see that it does 141 blue damage and 39 yellow damage. And when we switch it to the coil gun, it does less of the blue damage, which is basically damage to armor and or shields, sorry, and more damage to the actual armor themselves. So we'd probably be better off when they have no shields to hit them with the higher armor penetration. All right, look at that. We actually got some nanobots now, so the game is showing us how we can heal. So if we press 5, it actually heals us up. That is pretty sweet. I like that. Well, that's great. It looks like that when we came out, everything is like trying to kill us. Also looks like there's a way bigger ship than before. Oh, sweet. What the hell was that? All systems are down. Okay, we're in trouble now. Oh, that looks pretty amazing. We made a friend. Looks like we managed to get out of the jail, get a couple of spaceships, and off we go. They're not gonna catch up to us now. Alright, Dax has brought us back to his station, and it's not operational, so we're gonna have to go out and chase down a couple of resources so we can get the station operational. And um, We have access to storage now, which means anything from our cargo we can dump in here to make space in our cargo. We have the hangar where we can see the current ship we have. We can repair it or restock it right now. We have no money, so we can't do anything. Then we have the inventory here, which is showing us what we currently have equipped. I'm assuming this is where we can switch the type of weapons we have equipped or anything else. And then here over here we have stats. That's our current ship characteristics. Okay, static overload. I have no idea what I'm really looking at, but that's cool. We have currently two devices equipped in our ship. One which creates an electromagnetic pulse in a 500 meter radius around the ship, disabling all targets. That is awesome. So this seems to be kind of like a reputation screen. Okay. Mining, trading and defenses seem to be the section and we're currently standing freelancer. I have no idea what that exactly means right now, but anyway, this is the data we can see here. Okay, that's pretty cool. There's a cruise mode. If something is very far away, we can just click on F. All right, we have incoming. It wasn't going to be a straight mission just to collect some stuff, but let's try one of those devices out. Oh, look at that. That is actually explaining about the damage. There are two basic types of damage, kinetic and energy damage. While shields are solely affected by energy damage, armor can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Once the shield is down and the armor destroyed, both the damage types will decimate the hull. Excellent. Usually a weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which value is higher, you will want to use different weapons in different situations. So in this case, obviously, if the guy has shields, 
We're gonna go with the one that does more shield damage. There we go, and now we can switch and kill the rest. Or we can actually try out one of our devices, the stone one. Let's see if that works. Let's get very close. 500 meters, and boom. So he's stunned now. That is amazing, and you can see it there is for a couple of seconds. Beautiful. So it looks like we can actually mine as well. Do we just shoot it? Oh yeah, okay. So if we're close enough and we just shoot it, we actually get the resources. That is pretty awesome. All right, we finally got all the parts, so let's go back home and see if we can activate the base. All right, let's fix the scrapper. Oh, it looks like we just got a new menu here, which is called the perks menu. All right, look at that. We have companion perks. Each companion comes with his own set of perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Unlocking is done by fulfilling the requirements. Sometimes you will just need to provide some simple resources. Other times you are asked to accomplish certain tasks. Note that all resources you're investing in a perk cannot be retrieved, so always think about when and how much to invest. Select this and then invest. We're just gonna basically select how much we want to invest into it. There we go. That's all the materials we just collected and done. Sweet. Ah, it worked. At least now we have a couple of credits, which means we can actually now pay for having our ship repaired and restocked on our ammunition and missiles. Sweet. Okay, this is strange. Literally, asteroid randomly mining some crystals, and it seems that we can just blow a hole into it. Okay, does that mean we have like a secret uncovered? Oh, what is that? Oh, look at that, there's some copper in it, and a scatter gun. Wow. So exploring actually pays off as well. Oh, wow, we actually leveled up, that is amazing. So when we level up, we actually get some rewards straight away, as in our stats are going up. Each new level increases your base stats, structure, firepower, position, utility, resistance, and expertise, which will give you bonuses to your hit points, damage, repairs, etc. A detailed breakdown of these stats and their effects can be found in the ship screen. You have also received the device upgrade token, which can be used to unlock the device mode. Oh, that is great. That's what we were looking at earlier when we were looking at the different type of modes. So let's have a quick look. If we go to the ship, right here, all oh, right, we can upgrade one of the devices. So if we get the EMP generator, for example, we should be able to upgrade that to, let's see, shift mode. Can we unlock it? Yes, we can. Well, let's do this one first because it actually just damaged to the enemy shields. So the missions are really well designed. They bring you past all the areas where you discover all the other aspects of the game and different functionalities. So this one here, he asked me to check out the local trading post in this area. So let's see how that works. Oh, would you look at that? Customer or outlaw? All right, so we have a shop menu option now so we can sell some stuff that we don't need. And then what can we buy? Corrosion injectors. So they are different devices. 3,100 credits. Okay. Wow. Okay, look at that. We actually can go into different type of fuse. So if you want to get really in on the action, you can actually go into first person view. That is pretty amazing. You can also completely remove the hood and basically just be in complete first person view that is actually pretty cool so this is where you basically can um find things floating in space grab them with your tractor beam and bring them close to slots okay we still have to grab them ah there we go we just fly close and then they go in there okay here's another one. Oh wow it actually opens up the side door sweet extra treasure nice those guys are some freaky space alien plants. Found it. It's infested with hydras. Okay, we got another level up. Okay, we just now unlocked the ability to actually apply plating and we got some for free, but luckily I also found some, which are much better, so we can actually equip that. It's so now we have armor deck. as well, which is awesome. Seems that you also can find loot like CETO signal decoders that when you activate them, they reveal high risk areas in the CETO system. So I kind of like these little puzzles where you have to take one of those energy spheres and bring them to a socket to put them into one of these sockets to open a secret door. Look at that, there's a cargo unit in it. Nice! Optimize storage limitations for more efficient use of available space needed for dismantling of equipment. Plus five cargo slots. Equip! Awesome, where does it equip to? Oh, right over there. And now we have an extra five slots. I love these little things. 
So we have this extra option now. So if we go, for example, to our Eco Booster and we hold down R to modify, we can increase its rarity. You can't increase the rarity of already modified items and you can't increase the rarity of superior or legendary items. If we want to upgrade the level, we can only do that once either. And player level needs to be higher than the item level. That is interesting. Oh, we can adapt an item, not available, okay. So when we now destroy items, dismantle items, Oh, I got resources now. I got crafting XP and I got some resources here. Okay, just for the sake of it, of actually testing this out, uh, I just destroyed everything that I have in my inventory. So we could increase the level actually of our shield, for example. So what happens if we want to upgrade the level of our shield? And it's now 137 capacity and the time's changed ever so slightly. Okay, awesome. And now we can't do it again. Yeah, we can't modify it again, I think. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we actually have our first boss encounter or something that's an elite enemy. Whoa! There we go, nice! Okay, that was our first elite. Sweet! Hey, it's me. This is actually interesting. I completely did not see that earlier when we picked up this cargo unit. For crafting, we have to go into an empty field. So these ones we can click and upgrade. But these ones we can just hold down and we can craft an item. So we have like primary weapons that we can craft, secondary weapons or modules, like energy cores and whatnot. So for this one here, for example, for the primary weapons, we have common, uncommon, we don't have enough experience for that, and then rarity. So for each, okay, I understand. So when we destroy items now, each rarity, like we do a lot of commons, we get experience for common, which means to craft something, we need to spend that crafting XP to unlock it. That is actually pretty amazing. I like that. Let's go and select a primary weapon and let's unlock it. There we go. Oh, look at this. And then we can unlock now the next level, the beam laser, the railgun. Oh, that is so sweet. So the more we destroy, the more XP we get, the more we can unlock here. That is really, really awesome. And now these become available to be unlocked and these guys now are something we can craft so we can craft a level one pulse laser okay i scrapped a couple of resources now and instead of crafting a pulse laser let's see what happens if we craft a random item a thermo gun it's not as good as what we have but still okay that's pretty cool i'm just looking at a random shipwreck and it has a ship color okay let's see how we're going to use that new paint job of ours so preset is original style and if we go in here, we can click edit. There's paint jobs and currently it's snow white, but we can change it to crimson or we can change it to blue now that we have unlocked deep sea. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So we can put a decal on it, change the colors. Look at that, we're an outlaw now. <laughs> and there you go, level five, nice. Another 20 hit points, weapon damage, critical hit damage increased. Sweet. Oh, look at that. Player perks. Every five levels, a set of three new player perks get unlocked. Choose one perk over of your liking or none. But why should you do that? Note that you can change your selection at any time. So just choose what's best for the current situation. I like that. So this is pretty awesome. Like, so we have three perks available right now. And then at level 10, so the level 15, 20, 25 perks, they're not actually done yet, as we can see. Okay, fair enough. It is early access. So I think right now, killing an enemy instantly triggers your shield recharge. I think that is really awesome. So this is what one of those high risk areas looks like. Holy crap, these guys have serious armor. Enemies in range. Okay, we have these random events as well in this game, like a distress signal. Let's see if we can help out. These guys seem to be pretty powerful, they're level six. Okay, they drop a lot of credits, nice. We're safe, thanks a million. Look at all the goodies now. So this was a random distress signal, just flying along the way to my main mission and it just popped up and I decided to investigate it and that's what you get loads of goodies nano injectors boost drives that is amazing loads of loot nice and we're level six okay this is pretty sweet we actually get to the partner where we can buy new ships so we can't buy this ship yet the sentinel could buy another sentinel just trade it in we can get a scout an interceptor interceptor is really nice it's not as fast as what we have but more armor has more primary weapon slots more secondary weapon slots really good 
and then we have the gunship holy balls look at that it has way more cargo it's a lot slower a lot worse handling i think i definitely don't want to go worse handling but this striker here is really awesome but it costs a little bit too much so what can we do about that okay this station doesn't only allow us to buy ships but it also offers us jobs they just give us credits they give us experience so they are means of earning money which is really good but it also gives us standing so if we look here with this one we get gb trading standing here we get gb defense standing here trading here we get mining uh, standing and when we look at the data tab this is what didn't make sense to me earlier we can see that if we increase our standing all the way up to proven we get this as a reward and it seems we can take actually four jobs at a time all right, I'm still saving some coins so I can buy the bigger ship. But in the meantime, when I stopped off at home to look if I have some more ramen that I need for one of the missions or for one of the jobs, I noticed that I kept getting these Etiernan bypasses. I'm not sure exactly what an augment is, so let's have a look. Ah, okay, it took me a while to find it. So now that I have an augmentation module, I actually can go into my ship section and I can now upgrade one of my six attributes of my ship all right we're back at the ship dealer but the problem is now the ship that i wanted is gone so i didn't know that the ships change <laughs> i think we might go with that why not let's buy it okay so we have the choice now to buy and transfer to home base i'm just gonna buy it and keep the other ship just in case this is really awful yes that's what i want to do okay so we have the new ship now we also kept my augmentation module which is pretty awesome so i wonder what happens so if we're going to increase structure we get more hp and more modular damage resistance but if i go into my firepower we do plus 43.8 percent in damage well okay yeah this is feeling really nice i love it and what is the different fuse okay we can get really close here or we can get into the cockpit oh this is looking nice and we level eight nice and we level nine <laughs> this game just looks absolutely gorgeous okay we got visitors no time to enjoy the scenery this looks amazing though and we're level 10 nice that means we should get another perk yes all right let's see what we got Oh, I like that. Incoming direct hole hits have a 3% chance to reduce a random device cooldown. That looks actually pretty tasty. Let's try that. A ship graveyard around a shattered planet. That looks absolutely fantastic. That is sweet. We found another Eterna bypass. So we should be able to use these three now and create another augment. Oh, that is sweet. Utility, device cooldown, device kinetic damage, or we do our kinetic and energy damage. Yeah, let's do that. Boom, up to 88%. Very nice, I love it. Are you missing uh -oh. a little cell? I think we're in trouble. Ooh, are we having a boss fight? Protecting against energy oh, blasts. great. Try it is a boss fight. Wow. Drone or something. Oh, we can pick up one of those drones when we shoot it down. We can throw it at him. Now, Very nice. The shield is down. Nice. Excellent. Let's kill it. Oh, his shields are coming back up. Okay, one more. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. There we go. Come on. Yes, we got him. That was our first boss fight. Nice. Nice. We get an access to Stargates now. Oh man, that is epic. All right, I think that is plenty. I think I spent about 10 hours now playing this. I really enjoyed my time so far playing Everspace 2. I played about 10, 11 hours, um, maybe 12, but the, the storyline, I think officially they have a 10 hour storyline in it so far. And that is already, that's 10 hours gameplay already. And the game is a lot of fun to play. I would definitely recommend it. And the story has been very interesting so far. I really like the characters. So either way, really enjoyed my time with it. So I hope you guys had a good time with the video. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming.